Hello my friends, this is Michael with the Wupnik channel. I apologize for my short dance earlier, but I was just enjoying my Dyson V10 here and later we will talk about this Dyson V10. After all this dancing I'm a little bit thirsty. Give me one second. Coke. Hmm. Coca-Cola is the best. Some of my subscribers ask me what to do when this LED, when this logo is flashing on the Dyson V10. When this light is flashing, I'm sorry to say, but there is a blockage somewhere within uh, your Dyson V10 and needs to be removed. First you have to remove the direct drive cleaner head from your Dyson V10. Let's just try it. Ah. Done. You can take this away. And as you can see it is rather dirty. And now you turn it around and see if there's any blockage. So just for demonstration purposes I have put here a white napkin. So when you see something like this you accidentally have sucked in a, a napkin or something like this. Yeah, just take it out. Yeah, and then you look for additional obstructions. And as you can see here, here is lots of additional obstructions which is not impacting the airflow as much but the performance of the whole cleaning. And in order to fix that, yep, we take here my trusty Swiss Army knife. So you turn this super screw here anti-clockwise and because the whole thing here is a little bit older you have to a little bit push and there it comes out see and here it is dirty 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 so what are you doing now with all this hair around this uh, brush bar yeah or cleaner head well I will be just using here my little knife and Yep, little screw, uh, little screws, scissors, and you just cut the whole thing off. A little bit patience. Patience. Just cut it all, just cut it all off. That's coming off very good, very good. Yeah. There's a little bit more, and there's something. So, ugh. See guys, lots of hairs here and now it is clean here, but let's check up here. Ah, there's more dirt. This came out, this little dirty thing and more dirt in here. Here is no additional dirt. So this one is now clean. A little bit of dust, but this is not so important. So we put this one back and now we are looking for additional obstructions here in the cleaner head. 
Oh yeah, here. I don't know if you can see it, but here is more dirt. Yeah, so take care to take this one out. Oh. Can you see what I'm pulling out there? So, much more dirt here. And how much more is there? All right. Okay, this is all clean. I removed the napkin so that means you can here put the cleaning roller the cleaning brush back again very easy you just slide it back in you see yep, yep. and there it is and now you turn here this big screw until it catches all right and then you just close it up. This time you turn it clockwise. All right, and as you can see now, the brush is clean. Here is no more obstruction, nowhere any obstructions. This is how it should like, it should look like, I mean, should look like. So you guys can see how much dirt I took out of uh, this brush head here, but in case it still doesn't work, you have to look for more uh, blockages in your uh, brush head. And now you have to look here, here where the air flows through, and there's another obstruction, one of my napkins. Yep, just take it out. Now you can see, yep, there you can see, it is clean, there's no more obstruction. When you still get the error message that there's a blockage in your uh, Dyson V10, yep, then it is not the cleaning head here. We cleaned everything up, so it must be somewhere else the problem. Next step is, we are checking out this part of the Dyson V10, if there's any blockages, and let's see, hmm, we should be able to look through this pipe, but it's dark, so there might be an obstruction, let's turn it around, and ha, there it is, you see my little white napkin, I'm taking it out, and now let's the yep there is no clean here and it is clean here when after removing an obstruction from the big pipe uh, did not help then the vacuum cleaner itself must be the problem in order for look uh, for obstructions here on the actual unit yeah just remove the dustbin up, yep, up. Ha, got it. Little bit dusty, but hey. And here it is without the dustbin. So after removing the dustbin, please check here the intake if there's anything. It is unlikely that something here will get stuck. And but there is another pot where uh, debris can accumulate and just kill the whole airflow. And this is here at the side. You see, I marked it with my napkin. And you just 
take it out. In my case, the napkin. And now this part here is also free, available for the air circulation. I have shown you all the places now where dust, where dirt can accumulate and just block uh, the whole airflow so that your lovely Dyson V10 does not work anymore. And now put this one back. Oop, there it is. Close this one. And let's see if it still blinks. Let me show you the battery LEDs. Great, at least here in the main unit is no more blockage. And now I'm putting together the rest of the Dyson V10. Give me just one second. Ah, yep. It is done and now let's try it out. Look, it's very long. <laughs> so you can see here is a brush head, here is that. Now I knocked the uh, camera and here is the uh, actual machine. And let's see if we can see if it's now okay. Ooh, give me one second. Not so easy. As you can see, no blockage. Everything is okay. Wow, this wasn't so hard to clean uh, your Dyson V10 of all the blockages. The uh, places where the blockages can, uh, can uh, occur are very easy to reach. You just have to be diligent to clean it uh, thoroughly. Now you know where to look for all those blockages which can happen depending on your uh, home environment and as you have seen it is really easy to remove all these blockages and makes this baby here work again to make it suck again. Yeah, it really sucks when the machine is clean and it really sucks when the machine is dirty and doesn't suck anymore. All right, I hope you get my train of thought here in regards to sucking and the, uh, and the uh, uh, Dyson V10. Well, that's it for today. This is Michael with the Wupnik channel. Should you have any additional questions, please feel free to uh, contact me to write your questions in, in the comments and I will answer as soon as I get to it, which is usually pretty fast. And please don't forget to subscribe and to like my video so that I can afford these expensive toys in order to show you how to keep them sucking good. All right. All right. This is Michael. I'm signing off. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.